So as uh, students uh, now arrive at various campuses to register for their first year of undergraduate study, we continue to look at how best they can be assisted to settle well and also make the best of their academic journey. Dr. Sizwe Mabizela, Vice Chancellor and the Principal of Rhodes University, who is also the Chairperson of University of South Africa's Teaching and Learning Strategy Group, says all role players should assist the first year students to enhance their learning experience for nothing but success. Dr. Mabizela joins us now live from our studios in uh, uh, Port Elizabeth. We attempted to speak to him yesterday, but we couldn't connect via Skype. Dr. Mabizela, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Good afternoon, Palisa, and good afternoon to the viewers. Thank you so much indeed. So l let me just ask this question again, because I think that's the gist of um, your argument and your point. How important is it to enhance the first year's learning experience? Balisa, it is absolutely critical. Uh, what we have done is to make a call to all our universities and to the broader South African society that we should pull out all the stops and make sure that we create a, a conditions that are conducive for academic success, growth and development of our students. And so the first year student, uh, student experience is absolutely critical for their own success, but also for them to remain in our higher, higher education system and successfully complete their qualification. As you know, there is a say that charity begins as ho at home. So in, in, in this entire process, what role should the parents play in ensuring that enhancement of, of the first year learners, as you say, Doc? It is absolutely important. We must understand that education is something that the entire society must take very seriously, starting with the parents or guardians and the students themselves, but the entire society must come together so that we create the kinds of conditions that will make it possible for them to complete their studies successfully. But look, university education is more than just academic success. It's about personal growth and development of our students. So we work with the parents, we work with the guardians of our students, but we are inviting the whole society, entire South African society, to join hands with all of us to make sure that our students succeed at university. They are the future of our country. And so it is important that they succeed. And the other very important thing, Palisa, is that we have seen high dropout rates. Many young people access our public our higher education institutions and they drop out. And a recent study indicated that almost half of our students leave our higher education system without any qualification of any form. And that, of course, is a colossal waste of human talent. And so the first year experience is just so important in ensuring that they develop the right skills, the right attitude, and the right competencies for them to remain within the system and be able to complete in the shortest possible time. Mm. I'm, I'm going to come back to the issue of the high dropout rate uh, at tertiary institutions, but I just want to get your, your take really on what some education um, experts have been saying, that uh, f it, it looks like the basic education department does not necessarily prepare the learners for tertiary institution. W what's your take on that, Doc? Because earlier this week I had uh, a very interesting conversation with Dr. Mampele Rampele looking at the state and the quality of our basic education. And part of what she was saying is that for as long as there's nothing done in terms of the quality of the teachers that we have, then we should just forget about quality uh, all in all. So what's your take? Is the basic education department uh, preparing the learners sufficiently so for institutions of higher learning? Palisa, it is uh, an accepted fact that our basic education system is not performing at the level that we would like it to. Uh, and so we need to do a lot to improve the quality of teaching and learning at basic education level. But that said, the young people that we are admitting into our higher education system are the best that the system has produced. 
And so it is it's important for us as public higher education institutions that we prepare ourselves to work and teach the young people that have been produced by our system. And as I have said, they are the creme de la creme produced by this system. And so we have to teach the young people that we have before us and not those that we wish we had. Uh, while at the same time, paying attention to basic education, which I, as I have indicated, is not producing the kind of quality of students that we would like to have. Mm. But that, uh, maybe the question uh, again here is, are universities and tertiary, uh, tertiary institutions, do they really have the interests of learners at heart? Or is it just a matter of uh, perhaps uh, chasing higher enrollment? You know, chasing higher enrollments is very dangerous. And if we do that without paying due regard to the quality of the experience that our students have in our public higher education system, we will see what has always been referred to as a revolving door syndrome, where young people do access our public higher education system, but in no time they drop out and they have nothing to show for having been in one of our public higher education institutions, except for a crippling debt, which really cripples them for the rest of their lives. And so the call that we have made is that let us work with the students and let's work with the parents and let us work as a society and create the best possible environment and the best possible conditions for our students to excel academically but also for them to develop and grow so that they can contribute to our, towards our society. Mm. But uh, our constitution in its preamble commits us to freeing the potential of every citizen of this country. And so the least that we can do as higher education institutions, but as a society more broadly, is to work together to make sure that these best young people that have been produced by our basic education system are, affording, are afforded the best possible chance to succeed so that they can contribute to the betterment of our society and humankind. And Dr. Mabizala, you, the chairperson of the Teaching and Learning Strategy Group, are these conversations being had at, at the right levels though? Are, are you speaking to those institutions of higher learning, your universities and so on, to look into this matter and to get to the bottom of it? We do indeed discuss these issues with all higher education institutions uh, so that they can prepare themselves for the students that we have, so that we can create the right environment for them to succeed. So people do understand, particularly with teaching and learning, it is important that we understand our students, that we know them, we appreciate their hopes, dreams, and aspirations, but we also acknowledge their fears and their concerns, and in the process also create necessary support structures for them to, to succeed. Because the fact, Palisa, is that um, you know, personal issues mm. do impact on academic performance of our students. And so we ask all institutions to create necessary support structures, counseling, and all the like, so that our students can succeed. All right, no, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming through. Dr. Sizwe Mabizela is the Vice Chancellor and the Principal of uh, Rhodes University. He's also the Chairperson of University South Africa's Teaching and Learning Strategy Group, talking to us about how the first year students can be assisted by tertiary institutions.